Hello and welcome back to Green Room Gossip and we have got the lovely Hector Martin in. Hello. Hello, thank you very much for welcome. having me. Welcome. Thank you. Um, so basically what we do here is ask you some super silly questions sure. and that means that the, the public can get to know you. And, well, and it might it could it could go either of two ways because some answers might be very silly. So we're okay. going to start <laughs> with: Do you have a song that you sing in the shower, like a, a secret shower song? Wow. Shower song. A sour, shower song. <laughs> well, yeah. Lately, I've been getting into uh, this band from uh, Alabama, Alabama Shakes. Yeah. Does that ring a bell? Yeah. Well, their latest album, uh, Sound and Color, I put it on constantly when I go to the shower, so the first song would be Sound and Color, I guess. Okay. That's my shower song. Nice. <laughs> That's different. I like that. Um, and do you have a celebrity crush? What? What? Who do you, who do you fancy? Uh, celebrity crush. Well, I have two currently, I guess. One is uh, Molly Tunnel from uh, States. She plays a lot of bluegrass, and she's absolutely nailing it. It's really, yeah. really cool. I really like her. The way she performs, and she's also obviously really pretty. Uh, and the second one would be uh, Tatiana from the band Ginger. It's a little okay. bit more of a different kind of style. It's more like heavy metal, but she's absolutely gorgeous, and she sings amazingly. So yeah. Ah, so. lovely. <laughs> well, they're, they're different answers to what we usually get. We usually get uh, the quite mainstream sort of well-known actresses. Oh, I'm not so. going to say Madonna or anything like that. No <laughs> offense to anybody, but really, no. <laughs> and um, I, I assume this is probably going to be the same answer, but what's the last song you downloaded on your music? Oh, the whatever? last song I downloaded, I think, funny enough, I'm getting off like super country right now. The yeah. last song I downloaded was by, actually by Johnny Cash. Nice. Uh, Personal Jesus, the yeah. version he does by Depeche Mode. Yeah, okay. I really like that one, so I wanted that one for myself. <laughs> cool, that's a bit different. Nice one. Um, and yeah, if you were in a movie, who would play you? Oh, okay. Well, apparently people have been telling me I look like some sort of really famous rapper. I have no idea how it, like, how that connects with with the reality. But yeah. apparently, I look like Post Malone. <gasps> yeah, I do see that. Oh see? my goodness. <laughs> So if he's down, Post Malone would probably do me, I yeah. guess. Well, not, not you know, do, not that. Yeah, 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 act, yeah. act me. Uh, act me. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, and if you could have any three dinner party guests in the world, dead or alive, who would you have? Well, the first one would probably be either Jimi Hendrix or Richie Blackmore, because they've been my idol since I was a kid. So let's go just with, with Jimi Hendrix first. Yeah. A second one would probably be, well, it's not going to be very original, but... Janice Joplin, I would love to sit down and have a whiskey with her and talk about, you know, all the stories she has to share. And the third one, I am a little bit of a classical nerd too, so I would probably go for like maybe Chopin or Bach. Nice. All I dead, like I don't know why, but yeah, all, de yeah, all dead. Yeah, I... it doesn't matter. <laughs> that would be a great dinner party, very interesting. <laughs> and um, if you were an emoji, what would you be? <laughs> uh, I'd probably be the guitar. Yeah. Or the flame, because I use the flame constantly. Yeah. It's just like, you know, power, fire. I don't know. Yeah, I like cool. That. I like that. And if you could have a superpower, uh, what would it be? Wow. I don't know if you guys are like Star Wars nerds, but um, well, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. So I would probably use the, the, the force or something yeah. like that, or flying or jumping or something like that. I've always been, um, or if not, invisibility. Yeah, definitely. That, that's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, that's yeah, the yeah. one. That, I think that one, one of these, uh, those would, would work out for me. Yeah, cool. Well, that's a good mixture of a few in there. Um, and if you were stuck on a desert island, what would your one luxury item be? Speaks for oh. itself, the guitar. <laughs> you musicians and your guitars. Well, that's how it works. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And what was the first instrument that you ever learned to play? Ah... Uh... Well, I think I'm stuck between the piano or the drums. I think I started with drums. I started banging the drums when I was at my uh, parents' friend's house. And their kids all played instruments, but I was just never drawn to by, by the string instruments. I was always drawn to just the drum kit. Yeah. This was standing by, by itself, and I could play it. So I just started ramming on it. I think I was four <laughs> or five or maybe six years old. So it started there. Uh, my parents have always uh, played music, so they kind of got me involved with piano lessons when I was yeah. like maybe eight or nine. And I left it because I was too or too young, and yeah, that was the two first helps, instruments. Helps you start to learn to read music, doesn't it, the piano? Well, I was just playing it, you know. Oh. She was just she was just telling me how where to, where to you know uh, press Great the, the yeah. yeah exactly. So I wasn't really learning notes then. Yes. I learned I learned later to read sheet nice. music and stuff. Nice. And um, winter or summer? Hmm. 
I like summer, but I am a little bit of a depressive guy with my songs and stuff, so I would probably go for winter. Okay. Tea or coffee? Oh, coffee, definitely. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Curry or Chinese? Ooh. Probably curry, because I learned how to make it not long ago, and I'm com yeah. completely crazy with it. What's your go-to <laughs> curry recipe? I don't know, I just, I don't know, I don't know, just rice and curry, but like just add some chicken to it. I don't know, I, I have my own formula. I can't, ah. I can't, I can't really tell. <laughs> the secret curry recipe by Hepta. <laughs> you heard it here first. Um, and what has been your best live show that you've ever, ever done? Ever done? Wow, there's a couple there, because I've played, I'm, I haven't always done country or a blues or anything like that. I've, I've actually been more of a metal guy or heavy metal guy. So I did, um, with my earlier band, Wasting the Genesis from, from Malaga, we, we did a really cool show um, like two years ago. That was a really, like we played in the in La Trinchera in Malaga. And that was, uh, or was it Paris Quinta? I'm not exactly sure, but one of those two. And uh, we had a blast of a show. So that's one of them. If not, I think just by myself, I had a really, the last gig I did actually was a really cool yeah. gig. One of my really favorite ones. I was, I wasn't so nervous anymore. It was fluent. It, it was great. People really received me well. I got a really nice fat tip. No, so, that's so, what we're so, so that's uh, that really motivated me even more. <laughs> nice, so, yeah. cool. And what's the worst live show? Have you ever had any yes. dramatic problems? Tell yeah. us. Tell us. Oh, that's uh, that's a bad story. From we want to hear. It. I used to play. Uh, I used to play with this um, band. And we used to we used to just do these covers and stuff, and uh, we would have like three different drummers, and they would just jump in for every gig whenever whoever like would be available. Yeah. And there was this guy that just apparently knew the songs and said, "Yeah, yeah, I know the songs. I'll come over. I got a cover, whatever." And we started to play, and this guy just didn't know any of the songs. So we were stuck with a drummer that were not able to perform and we oh, I had to turn around and keep helping him, looking him in the eyes and kinda like guide him and that was just a pain in the in the butt. It was oh, it was really, no. really hard. It was one of the worst that I remember, but right now I don't know. We'll go for that one then. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> the one I remember now at least. That's horrible. And um this is a bit of a question for myself. Sure. Um where is the best place to party in the world? Where is your most favourite place that I need to know about? <laughs> Take a minute. I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I, I like to party. I party a lot. Good. Uh, yep. Yeah, man, party, man of I my own taste. A lot. So, uh, <laughs> of the places I've been, you you can party really well in the states. Um, they just have like everything is there. That's yeah. where I went to New Mexico and I had a, I didn't go out too much, but because I, uh, I was on a family uh, holiday there. But yeah. what's whatever I saw was was really really awesome and uh, to just have everything available there, you can have a good time. So that would be a good place. Here in Spain is definitely yeah. like there's even a top set, I guess, because just everything is here, literally everything is here. Yeah. And I had a lot of fun in Prague when I went this year. And yeah. everything's super cheap and uh, people are, are nice there. Well, probably my perception because people <laughs> have told me they were not so nice. Um, but Prague, yeah, Prague. If I have to choose one that's not so mainstream, Prague. Cool. Well, I've never been to Prague, so Prague is now added to my list. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank this you. has been Hector and this is your Green Room Gossip. Thank you.